Good afternoon. It is a pleasure to welcome the trustees, university senior leadership, and other visitors to IU Northwest. We also welcome you to the Northwest Indiana region. I'm honored to briefly introduce you to IU Northwest, our place in Northwest Indiana, and our role in building the region's future. Knowing something about IU Northwest begins with our campus mission, which you each have. The mission is resonant of both the IU academic mission and the campus's regional commitments. The vision and values are both recent products of our strategic planning process. Our strategic priorities derive directly from the mission, vision, and values and are aligned with the IU principles of excellence and the regional campus blueprint for student attainment. The IU Northwest mission, vision, and values frame several interdependent themes that affect our planning and daily work. First, academic and scholarly excellence. IU's purpose is fundamentally academic. At IU Northwest, our task is to provide the very best of the Indiana University academic experience and learning outcomes, adapted to a Northwest Indiana student population that cannot be on campus or any campus full time. Particularly in a changing environment that severely pressures available resources, academic excellence requires a solid financial plan to protect existing assets, use them productively, and create resources for continuing investment. IU Northwest has adopted a continuous improvement framework, and our campus's financial and productivity indicators show that we are well-practiced at providing IU's affordable excellence. Since 2008, IU Northwest headcount enrollment has increased by 21% to more than 6,000, while state appropriations per student have declined by 28%, and the ability to recapture any of the appropriated dollars through tuition increase has been strictly limited. Still, since fall 2008, IU Northwest reduced actual expenditures per student from $8,980 to $8,035 through savings and efficiencies. An additional 1,250 students are served with the number of full-time faculty and other employees virtually flat, an increase of 1.65%, by using part-time associate instructors and monitoring section size and efficiency. The stewardship indicators point to the productive use of resources that underwrites the full Indiana University academic experience. Nearly 70% of our students are women, 44% are students of color, and along with their academic commitments, our students have very full adult lives. 43% of our students attend part-time, and between 80 and 90% work. Even among full-time students, the average number of credits per term is 13. Our students have relatively high financial needs. About 45% of our undergraduates receive Pell Awards, including two-thirds of part-timers. Our students are adult learners, regardless of their ages, which is reflected in the enrollment and revenue growth initiatives that are integral to our campus strategic priorities. Expansion of online courses is a priority built on thorough preparation for faculty members and proven best practice. For fall 2012, 72 online course sections are offered. We are also redoubling our commitment to transfer students including degree finishers, veterans, and Ivy Tech associate degree graduates with increased scholarship funds. And we have introduced a merit scholarship program for Illinois residents to attend for the equivalent of in-state tuition. IU Northwest students represent the academically qualified Hoosiers who must be recruited and succeed if any of the national and state goals for bachelor's degree completion are to be achieved. It is very satisfying every day to see such a diverse student body making our campus their own. Indy University Academic Excellence at IU Northwest resides in a superb faculty and academic programs that vividly reflect the strengths and priorities of Indiana University. The IU tradition of a strong foundation and preparation in the arts and sciences is maintained in our liberal education program and the college's majors, including the fine arts program, which is led by a distinguished faculty that attracts gifted students and impacts the campus environment with faculty and student art. Our other schools will be mentioned, but the College of Health and Human Services is an unusual combination of programs that has resulted in innovative academic, professional, and research collaborations that set IU Northwest apart. The School of Public and Environmental Affairs, reflecting the national standing of IU SPIA, brings applied research to its community-based engagements. The School of Nursing and the Allied Health Disciplines have the advantage of sharing leadership, a facility, and collaborative programming with the IU School of Medicine Northwest which produces synergies that enhance the learning experiences of future nurses, allied health professionals, social workers, and physicians. The close cooperation between the College of Health and Human Services and the School of Medicine Northwest creates a leadership focus for our region, 
discussions about investments and innovations in the future growth of healthcare in Northwest Indiana invariably involve IU's commitment to the region. During 2011 and 12, the campus was staffed by 177 full-time faculty members, 120 of whom are tenured or tenure track. They are skilled teachers who are dedicated to students' learning and academic growth. But my faculty colleagues also animate teaching and learning through their extraordinarily productive scholarship and creativity. In 2011 alone, faculty members' annual reports show that they had published or accepted 110 articles, 18 books, we averaged 20 books per year in 2010 and 2011, 16 book chapters, and 53 other publications. Among creative activities, 56 media projects, exhibits, theater, and other presentations were published, presented, or completed. I Northwest faculty colleagues made 550 conference presentations, which shows that they are substantively involved with the discourse of their disciplines. Of equal significance to the scholarly enterprise, there are 38 instances of service on editorial boards or as editors, and they were publication reviewers and referees 104 times. The 11 full-time School of Medicine faculty also contribute medical research and help to boost total external research funding on campus to $1.8 million. Our faculty's work is recognized by awards, including 38 research awards and fellowships, 35 awards for service, and appropriately 41 teaching awards. We invest in the scholarly futures of our faculty colleagues, and there are 18 IU Northwest Summer 2012 faculty fellows. IU Northwest faculty members are also heavily involved in the many dimensions of service, which is exemplified by our faculty organization's active engagement with the implementation of the Blueprint for Student Attainment. The impressive scholarly and creative record of IU Northwest faculty colleagues is a signature way in which our students truly have access to the best of an Indiana University education and degree. For me, the teacher-scholar is a professional ideal and the U IU Northwest faculty is the best example of fulfilling that ideal with which I have been associated. It is our teacher-scholars who deliver affordable and proximate Indiana University excellence. The faculty also engage with many of our busy students in research, often concentrating on local issues. During spring semester 2012 alone, the annual College of Arts and Sciences conference featured the work of 78 students, and SPIA's Public Affairs Week included 90 undergraduate and graduate students. Students are an integral part of an academic culture that values faculty-led inquiry that deepens learning. I'm very proud of the scholarly and creative record at IU Northwest, which further enhances the reputation of Indiana University, a pride in which the university trustees and administration can share. A consistent theme in IU Northwest's mission, vision, and values and strategic priorities is the paramount reality and importance of diversity. As a campus, we must squarely and continuously engage issues of diversity, equity, and inclusion in order to have credibility in the communities that we serve and provide the fullest learning experience, inclusive excellence for all of our students. We have initiated a long-term campus conversation on diversity, equity, and inclusion, and the Executive Vice Chancellor and the Affirmative Action Director have prepared an aggressive program to maintain a diverse faculty, which is complemented by the Career Success Program to retain and support them and the employee salary reviews conducted this year include data and recommendations that put diversity and equity at the center of systematic salary improvement. To do our jobs and fulfill the mission, we must all make diversity work at IU Northwest. Community-based engagement. IU Northwest has a true urban commitment, and it is embedded in the character and public purpose of an IU regional campus to devote human and intellectual resources, including the 16,000 service hours contributed by 1,300 of our students, to advance the communities that we serve. We have renewed the commitment to community engagement as a priority that responds directly to the importance and high expectations that residents, including the nearly 29,000 IU alumni of all campuses who live here, assign to Indiana University's regional role. The front door for mutual community-based engagement is the Center for Urban and Regional Excellence, which sponsors and encourages activity that assists the city and region while providing experiences for faculty to extend their scholarly horizons and students to expand their learning. With center leadership, IU Northwest was a partner in the Indiana Civic Health Index Project, which was sponsored by the Indiana Bar Foundation and has resulted in an extended regional discussion about citizenship and engagement. Several leading Northwest Indiana citizens want the trustees to know what they think is important for the region's future and IU's role. 
The School of Education worked closely with the public schools and Lake Ridge School Superintendent, Dr. Sharon Johnson Shirley, who has achieved an innovative school turnaround and proudly holds degrees from IU Bloomington and IU Northwest, talks about the community campus relationship. We're so pleased and happy to have Indiana University um, in a city like Gary to have something of such high quality uh, makes a difference in the lives of the citizens. Uh, as a community leader, I have to come from uh, the educational standpoint and the fact that it is providing student teachers that come through our school districts, uh, students that are just doing field work, um, we expect high quality. We believe that they have to come in with rigor to meet the needs of our students, and Indiana University and our partnership is building on that. It is vital that that relationship with the city and the businesses all around uh, come together to create an atmosphere that students, uh, citizens, uh, you know, people that just want to go back and reinvent their lives, they had that opportunity. And with the university being uh, very accessible as well as easy to get to as we relate to transportation in the city of Gary, it provides that opportunity to connect. We're all proud to say we're a part of Indiana University. Whenever you go anywhere in the United States or you travel abroad, where did you go to school? Indiana University. And that is a big deal in this community. IU Northwest actively participates in all of the collaborative efforts that focus on region-wide economic revitalization and development. Our AACSB accredited School of Business and Economics takes a lead in the community including the Small Business Institute Capstone, which annually places advanced undergraduates in a dozen regional businesses and other organizations. We are a member of the Northwest Indiana Forum, the business voice that promotes regional economic development, and President and CEO Mr. Mark Mazel speaks about IU Northwest's role. I think the uh, higher education arena plays such a big part in the health of a community, the development of a community, including the ability to attract and retain jobs. It also provides us with a strong source of talent for the businesses we have in this area, whether it's an MBA program or even the undergraduate programs. Again, staffing the businesses and creating the kinds of jobs and maintaining the kinds of jobs we have in this area. And I think that IUN is particularly significant in the sense that unlike many of our state universities, we don't really see the brain drain. Students that go to IUN tend to stay in this region, stay in this state. My own engagement beyond many community boards includes active participation in redevelopment activities and reflects a strong tradition of cooperation among Northwest Indiana's colleges and universities, particularly concerning economic revitalization in the region. Ms. Linda Wolashansky, another proud Indiana University graduate, is President and CEO of the Center of Workforce Innovations and a statewide advocate for education and workforce partnerships. The fact that people have an opportunity to attend uh, Indiana University right here in Northwest Indiana is an outstanding benefit and helps with our economic growth. Well, you know, I know that when the economic developers meet with potential companies, they always talk about Indiana University and the fact that it has a presence in Northwest Indiana. So that in itself, you know, helps with job growth and, and creation, once again, because of IU's national brand and reputation. Um, we also see that there's a lot of knowledge transfer that occurs. Uh, the university, with the learning that occurs there, with the faculty, uh, are able really to help businesses in Northwest Indiana through their consultation and technical assistance to help those businesses grow and thrive. Um, that is really um, invaluable to the community. Our community-based engagement encompasses the commitments of individuals and full-scale campus mobilizations. IU Northwest Social Work student Cassie Cormandy turned a class assignment into a community cleanup project at Gary's East Glen Park. Cassie organized two cleanup days and started an environmental community outreach group to engage local community members and businesses in reclaiming a children's playground. Cassie now plans a needs assessment of Gary's parks and will invite local citizens to join her in working with the city to carry out needed improvements. At the other end of the spectrum are the Campus Freedom Riders programs in January 2012 in partnership with Lakeshore Public Television, the NAACP, and the Urban League, which pivoted around the award-winning 50th anniversary documentary, Freedom Riders. 
Hundreds of community members attended two days of seminars, film screenings, discussions with two of the original writers, and a special program for North Lake County High Schools. At IU Northwest, community-based engagement is a strategic priority at the core of the academic experience. Partnering for a successful future. IU Northwest is a full partner in Northwest Indiana's future development and quality of life. IU's presence and commitment in the city and region with a $100 million local impact is a pivotal factor in plans for revitalization and economic development. A recent example is a successful adaptation of lease space for our fine arts and performing arts programs displaced from flooded Tamarack Hall, which is also a welcome investment in Gary. The new space on nearby Grant Street has been transformed into Arts on Grant with a spacious art facility and a well-appointed black box theater. We thank Vice President Morrison and his colleagues for helping to make it possible. We work closely with our new mayor, Karen Freeman Wilson, and she comments on the city-campus relationship. Because they are a viable anchor, they are a solid institution, we know they're not going anywhere, then it's easy to develop around a, an entity like Indiana University Northwest, and that's what we're doing in the city of Gary. In addition to that, um, the business community at Indiana University Northwest is providing uh, assistance to local businesses as they provide uh, or as they develop business plans for their own businesses. And so we're using the expertise not only of faculty in the School of Business, we're using the expertise of faculty in uh, the School of um, uh, Public and Environmental Affairs to help us and help our uh, police department with statistics so that we can um, really target our law enforcement efforts and um, the work that they do with the Bridget Kelly Youth Foundation, the work that they do in terms of their volunteer work with our parks and with the other uh, facilities throughout the community, that's extremely important and a vital part of our efforts to really put a new face and a positive face on Gary. Excellence, a closer relationship with Ivy Tech Community College Northwest, and community development come together in the proposal that was endorsed in 2011 by the trustees of both IU and Ivy Tech for a partnership building on 35th Avenue, which would replace recently demolished Tamarack Hall and respond to Ivy Tech's enrollment pressures. At $45 million, it would represent an important capital initiative, but the mayor sees the proposed project in the surrounding area as a redevelopment investment focus with the potential to stabilize and dramatically improve the campus's immediate neighborhood. An innovative project like this that contributes to both access and community redevelopment demonstrates the multiple roles and impacts of Indiana University regional campuses. Thank you for this opportunity to introduce you to our students, faculty, and regional community role. I think that you can see that I find a great deal here about which to be very proud, along with excitement in the challenges ahead.